So today I'm going to be doing my chit chat number two, and it's been a while since I did my I did my first one. I think it was back in like August or October or something. It was a really long time ago. But today's a video. It's a topic I've been wanting to talk about for a while. So oh, if you guys are new to these videos, these videos are basically just um, not even like advice videos, but just videos where I can just kind of rant to you guys and talk to you guys about something usually different than fashion or beauty. It's more lifestyle because I do consider my channel not just fashion and beauty but also like lifestyle kind of. So some of the times these videos may be about like fashion or beauty but um, I don't know. I just thought it'd be really fun to talk about things going on in the world and just different topics that I can just talk about whatever I want and I can share it with you guys and then we can have conversations in the comments um, and just rant about things together. So yeah. So today's uh, chit chat is going to be uh, basically YouTube, um, what's called YouTube, uh, hate on YouTube and drama and like social media and just like my, th my thoughts on YouTube and social media and all those kind of things. Um, because I've just been, I mean of course with, um, if you guys know, I'm late to this, I'm late to discussing this because I knew about it when it happened but I know that it's kind of over, people are just like kind of done talking about it, but um, if you guys know um, Asena, is that how you say it? Asena O'Neill here on YouTube, I actually didn't even know, really know about her um, until a couple months ago, and then I started watching her, and then she, you know, if you guys know what happened, she basically talked about how social media was really um, kind of, uh, she used it in a way that she didn't like, and so it just kind of made her into a person she didn't really like, like it just affected her in a way that she didn't enjoy and therefore she kind of uh, stopped, she didn't stop using it but she started using it in a different way. She just felt like she was being, she was just playing someone that wasn't really her on social media. So that's basically a little, very short summary of what she, she made a whole video so I'm sure you guys can go find it or find other reaction videos to it. But my video is not just gonna be, the chit chat today is not just gonna be a focus on that. Um, it's also gonna be focused just on, it's like my thoughts on YouTube and social media and all, all that kind of stuff. And um, you guys are more than welcome to voice any opinions down below. I think it's really interesting to hear. Um, I would love if it could be constructive opinions or um, constructive criticism and not just hate, which is also something we're talking about today in today's video, but it would just be nicer if it was that because I can totally understand if you guys want to say something, but you know, there's a different difference between saying it in a nice way and saying it in a just um, unnecessary rude way, if you guys get what I'm saying. So basically, first let's talk about YouTube and just hate and drama and just that kind of stuff. I've been seeing that a lot on YouTube. Seeing that a lot on YouTube. I feel like um, I do watch a lot of YouTubers and a lot of videos um, in my free time. I kind of really enjoy that and Netflix is what I usually spend my time on if I want to watch like TV or you know do something online and when I'm not out with my friends and doing stuff if I just want to be at home by myself um, and watch like in the TV or whatever shows that's I usually watch YouTube videos or I watch um, Netflix so on the videos I've been seeing a lot um, lately I don't think it's that bad it just kind of depends sometimes but I do feel like on a lot of videos less people are commenting on videos and I feel like more and the people and I feel like the people that are commenting there are more people that are commenting rude and just unnecessary comments that are not constructive criticism but just kind of really unnecessary and I don't know if these are younger boys and girls that maybe don't know what they're talking about and therefore they just kind of say something without thinking about it because I'm sure I mean I'm, I've never been the one to really comment on YouTube videos I honestly don't really comment on YouTube videos I don't know why like I watch a video I usually like it I pretty much like all my, the videos I watch and then I exit out I'm done continue on with my day unless there's something really that I really feel I want to comment on usually it is really usually it's positive because I just don't see the point of writing negative comments um, I just keep it to myself if I really something really annoys me like I just don't see the point of taking time out of my day to like ruin someone else's day but um what was I even? I totally got off topic right there. But I don't, yeah, what I was saying is I don't know if it's younger girls or boys that maybe don't think about before they comment something because I'm sure like I could have done some. I'm sure I've done that when I was younger, like in my twelve, when I was twelve or thirteen or whatever. Maybe I commented something without thinking about. Oh, that was kind of not very nice. Or like, why did I need to comment that? There was no point in that. So yeah, so maybe I don't know if it's that or if people are just <laughs> mean and just have nothing better to do with their lives than go than comment something. But even when I watch those videos and I see people comment the rudest things, it's so hard for me not to comment something back. But I feel like those type of people also, they don't really care what other people say, they're gonna keep, still keep doing it. 
So no matter how many how many people comment, oh my god, like that was so rude, why did you say that? Why do you even watch her videos if you don't like them? If you're just gonna comment on them, blah blah I feel like the person really doesn't care. Like I feel like you can literally say everything and they just are gonna be like, oh, whatever, I'm still gonna comment it if I want to. So I just kind of noticed the point in doing that. But I thought it would be interesting to share this. Maybe I can influence some of you in some way. Or we can just talk about how if you guys have been feeling like this, have you guys been seeing comments like this on videos and stuff like that? So go ahead and leave it down below in the comments. But um, I just um, I just don't get it. Like I just um, I'm gonna reference to one video because it's just, that was just the most recent one I saw. You guys know Lindsay Hughes here on YouTube. I love her Beauty Baby 44 is what she used to be called. I don't think she's called that anymore. I don't remember. I love her videos. I watch her vlogs all the time. They're amazing. Basically, she dyed her hair recently purple, which isn't even like a big deal, but this is just because I saw this and I was just like, it was just a really great example of what I'm trying to say here. And she um, got uh, two tattoos, which are I think are awesome. So everyone is freaking out in the comments about it, blah, 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 saying the rude things, and I just don't, it's just like don't even understand. Sometimes I don't even want to sit down and film a video talking about this because I feel like it's just so ridiculous that people, sh we shouldn't even comment on them because it's just like, why stoop to their like that level even and even like I don't know I just don't get how human humanity acts like this um, like there's so many things going on in the world and these people choose to watch a video which apparently they don't even like the person and all they're gonna do is comment rude things and then they decide to comment so many rude things saying I hate your hair I hate your tattoos are horrible like oh my god like why are you changing like it's so horrible I just don't get it like I just think it's it's honestly like it's just so sad that it's like almost funny to me. I just don't even like understand why it, why it matters if someone dyes their hair a damn a different color or gets a tattoo. Like it just, I mean it's really eye opening and maybe this really, you know, tells me, okay, maybe that's why we have such a problem in America with gay rights and um, racism and all those kind of things are still such a problem in America. <laughs> Um, to this day, and, and not even in America, I don't know, maybe in Europe, but places in Europe as well, and just all those things, people just don't know how to accept each other, and if we can even accept someone else dyeing their hair a different color, or getting a, a fucking tattoo, like, yeah, then we have a long ways to go, it's just really sad, um, and so basically, all in all, what I'm trying to say with this is that, just really think about what you comment before you comment it, just think, you know, I don't even get why anyone would even comment something rude. Even if I have constructive criticism to comment on a person's video, I'm like, oh my gosh, but really, who cares? Like, is it that big of a deal if I tell them this constructive criticism? Like, does it really matter? Uh, probably not. So then I just decide not, then I don't comment it. Or I comment something positive. Why not make a person's day? Like, they're just filming a video of their day. You know what I mean? Like, they're putting themselves on the internet. Why not make them feel better about that than being one of those people who comment all those mean things and attack them for no reason because you have nothing better to do. I just don't get it. So basically, yeah, what I'm trying to say to get out of this is just to think about before you comment things, just try and be positive. Like, trust me, when you're positive to another person, like, you're just gonna feel so much better and just saying nice things to people, even not even just on YouTube, just around you in the world, just being nice to each other and saying, oh my gosh, I love your shirt, I love your hair, you know, what I'm, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's gonna make you feel better and it's, you know, I do believe in like karma kind of like if you do something nice, like eventually, I mean, not that something's like, even if people don't see it, it doesn't really matter. Like you should still do nice things, but I feel like it will eventually come back to you in some way. Or if not, it'll at least make you feel good. Like I feel, I think it's amazing when I'm telling someone, oh, I really like your shirt or I like your hair today or something. Um, I don't even expect a comment back, but it just makes me feel happy that, you know, I kind of maybe, maybe influence their way, their day in a po some positive way. So yeah. So that was my YouTube rant slash on that recently um, because I've just been seeing it a lot and I just think it's ridiculous and I just, oh my god, I just don't get it. Like just keep the, just keep, why? They don't need to hear those opinions. I just don't get it. But anyways, so that was that. Now on to social media and the kind of like the Senna O'Neill thing. I'll try and like hurry this, it's not like a super long video. But basically, you know, I think social media is both positive and negative in many ways because I feel like it's a great way to um, express yourself and it's a fun way to share pictures and just share things you're doing. But all in all, we could I definitely think everyone could live without Instagram and live without Twitter um, and Snapchat. I feel like those three things are just kind of like, uh, 
I mean, honestly, like, we could live without them. If you really think about it, we could. But they're there, they're existing, so why not? Let's try and use them in the best way possible and not make our whole lives, like, revolve around them because I do feel like Facebook is nice because, um, I don't really use Facebook that much. I mostly use it for events and connecting with people that, like, since now, since I moved for college and stuff, I connect with my old friends that way and just seeing what everyone's doing, I think it's a really fun way to do that. So I do like think face Facebook is good for that, but Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat are more just, are more just places where it's kind of unnecessary um, pictures and stuff that they, they're not needed, but it, I, do, I do like Instagram and Twitter and stuff, so I totally do use all three of those things. But I think there's definitely a right and a wrong way to use it. So I don't think social media is this horrible, Thing, unless you make it to be that way. Well, for me, I really enjoy posting Instagram pictures. I love sharing things with you guys, and I do think a little bit about how my Instagram like feed or whatever looks like the color theme or whatever. Because I honestly find it. I really, I am an artistic person, like creative person. I love taking photos and all that kind of stuff. Like I really enjoy doing those kind of things. So I think it's a fun way. Like I get exi excited to post things all the time. Um, and I am not doing it to make myself feel better, I'm not doing it to show this person, like, try and make my life look amazing. I'm just doing it because I think it's fun. And I think it's fun to edit pictures and take photos of pretty things in the world and just share it with everyone. So, yeah. But obviously there comes a point where if Instagram is taking over your life, it's what your whole life revolves around, it is kind of like... I mean, if that if you're okay with that, then that's totally up to you. Again, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, everyone do their own thing kind of thing. But, um, I just think... For me, like, I go on Instagram maybe once or twice a day, and I'll look through the feed a little bit, um, like some pictures, then I'll go off. Like, I literally go on it for maybe, like, five minutes. Because I feel like, like I don't go on it for, like a, like, a super long time, because I have other things to do. And I feel like, you know, you just need to be careful that Twitter and you, that, those apps aren't consuming your life. Like, maybe check on them once or twice a day, you know, whatever, or, but you shouldn't be stressing, like, oh, I need to check Twitter, I need to check, check Snapchat, I need to post a picture on Instagram. Like, I, I try, for me, I do try and post one picture a day if I can, because I just like to keep, like, active on there. But at the same time, if I don't post a day, I'm not like, oh my god, that's so horrible. I'm just kind of like, oh, whatever. Sometimes I won't, I won't post for like a whole week or, you know, whatever, like even two weeks or, you know what I mean? Like, for me, it's just, it's fun, but it's not the biggest deal if I don't post, like, oh, whatever. Then I'll post the next day. Like, it's, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to force myself to take a picture if I don't have something inspiring um, to take a picture of, just to post a picture. So I think that's important, too, to just kind of... Um, figure out if what it means to you like if you want if you're really dedicated and you want to take pictures every day then definitely do that but don't if it's really you know making you feel bad and taking up your whole day maybe like reevaluate it um, and how you're doing it but yeah so I think Instagram can be looked at different ways um, I do feel like some people you know do show like the best parts of their days in there and Instagram definitely isn't it, Instagram isn't why no one's going to post um, what's it called, like, bad things on there, like, horrible pictures or, um, I don't know, like, negative things that make someone's life look not good. So I feel like, you know, just keep in mind that it is kind of fake in a way. I mean, we do, I mean, sometimes I take, like, 20 pictures of one thing to get, like, the right angle or the right lighting. So obviously it's not like that in real life and we just need to keep that in, like, our heads too. That, oh, this girl or guy might look so perfect, their life might look so amazing, but obviously they're not taking pictures of the bad things going on. So just keep that in mind and just, you know, and no one's perfect, everyone has their flaws and don't just, you know, try and love yourself and not be like, oh, I wish I was this person because their Instagram looks so amazing because it's not real. So yeah. But anyways, that was my little rant on that as well. Um, I think that's pretty much my chit chat for today. Um... Again, it is just like a ranting kind of thing for me, but definitely leave down below your comments on this because I would love to hear your comments on social media and like YouTube and hate and drama on both things, you know, like how people are using them and stuff like that. So I would love to hear you guys' opinions and um, constructive criticism <laughs> in a nice way. Um, but yeah, I would definitely love to hear that. So leave it in the comments down below if you want, would like to. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I just thought it was interesting to talk about. 
But I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already for more videos, and check out my blog down below and all that good jazz. So um, that's pretty much it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Shining on your face, your smile is warming up just like a sunny place. My worries disappearing, all my fears erased. You're my happy place.